little bit of introduction, right? My name is uh, Joel John, and I am a faculty of biology here in Vedantu. I have been teaching you people for the last two years, and finally, we have come to that particular stage in our life where we are going to give our board exams, and we are going to get done with all those concepts that we have been learning for so many, so many, so many months, and in fact, a year or more than a year. So, I have made today's lecture. कैसे बनाया है मैं वो आपको बताती हूँ सबसे पहले आई वॉज थिंकिंग बायोटेक प्रिंसिपल्स एंड प्रोसेसिस में देर आर मेनी डिफरेंट क्रूशियल एस्पेक्ट दैट आर देर सो वट आई थॉट वॉज आई वुड जस्ट डिवाइड योर सेशन इन टू लाइक थ्री डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स आई हैव प्रिपेयर दीज कॉम्पोनेंट्स फॉर यू पीपल सो दैट तुम्हारा जो कल का एग्जाम है वो बहुत अच्छा जाए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव प्रिपेयर पी वाई क्यूज फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू Second of all, I have sample questions that I have taken from CBSE papers, and I have important MCQs also. So what I am going to do is, I am going to keep it up, my dear children, in such a way. I'll tell you all the important diagrams. I'll tell you all of that as well, because you guys have that. No, ma'am, which diagram should we study and go? And in this chapter, there is quite a few diagrams that are very important. Therefore, diagrams I'll tell you. PYQs I'll tell you, and I'll tell you what are the questions that have been repeatedly coming in the examination. I'll tell you what are the sample questions from CBSE that you need to prepare, and all the important MCQs. Now, what we will do is just because it's a morning time, I am going to start with MCQs only because if I start with MCQs, you guys are going to be very pumped up. I I know for a fact that MCQs matla. तुम लोग मतलब मर जाओगे एमसीक्यूज को लेके इतना मजा आता है तुम लोग को एमसीक्यूज सो वट आई डन इज एफ क्यूरेटेड अ लॉट ऑफ दिस अमेजिंग एमसीक्यूज करके देखते हैं पता चलेगा इफ यू नो द चैप्टर नाइसली और नॉट ओके कोई डरने की जरूरत नहीं है आई एम रीडिंग योर चैट माई डियर चिल्ड्रेन कोई डरने की जरूरत आपको बिल्कुल नहीं है लेट अस सी वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर दे फर्स्ट वील स्टार्ट विद एमसीक्यूज ओनली ओके सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज दिस सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑर्डर ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग of PCR, okay? All diagrams and all I'll tell you children, just wait for some time. कुछ देर वेट करो मैं डायग्राम सब बताती हूँ सब बताती हूँ ठीक है चलो सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑर्डर ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ पी सी आर फोर ऑप्शन आ दे एक्सटेंशन प्राइमर अनिलिंग डी नेचुरेशन डी नेचुरेशन प्राइमर अनिलिंग एक्सटेंशन डी नेचुरेशन एक्सटेंशन प्राइमर अनिलिंग प्राइमर अनिलिंग डी नेचुरेशन एक्सटेंशन सोच के बताना है फटाफट बताना है चलो आंसर आ रहे हैं बच्चों वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एनी बडी हु हैज ऑपोजिंग आंसर वेरी नाइस ऑसम एनी बडी विद ऑपोजिंग आंसर एनी बडी हु थिंक्स दिस इज नॉट राइट बिकॉज एवरीबडी सेंग बी एज द आंसर डू यू गाइज अग्री बी इज द आंसर चिल्ड्रेन लेट मी टेल यू वॉट इज द करेक्ट आंसर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट पीसीआर पीसीआर इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री स्टेप्स फर्स्ट देर इज डी नेचुरेशन second step is there will be obviously annealing which is the attachment of the primer to the denatured strands and finally there will be a phenomenon known as extension so this is one of the brief answers that comes for 3 marks very often because this is an easy question the diagram of pcr is very important you will get the diagram in the examination PCR diagram of drawing denaturation annealing and extension that diagram is very important this as a short note is very important and now i have showed you as a mcq also how it is important everybody has noted it down yes denaturation you break the dna strands to make them separated okay then you anneal them with the small rna probes that are there and then finally extension will happen so that you end up with two double dna strands correct my dear children is this very clear let's go to the next question here is the next question plasmid vector in dna recombinant technology means what plasmid vector in dna recombinant technology means what read the question carefully very 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 important ma'am it is given in ncert riya all questions are taken only from the ncert whatever questions i'm giving you today everything is ncert because obviously this is for board examinations which is going to happen tomorrow right please plasmid vector in dna recombinant technology means come on hello everyone good morning good morning guys come on tell me the answer okay again there is a bit of a confusion but majority of my children have given me one answer which is let's read the option first and then i'll declare to you what is the correct answer the question says 
plasmid vector in dna recombinant technology means option a a virus that transfers gene to bacteria no if it's a virus then i can say that it could have been a bacteriophage i will not use the word plasmid vector it could have been used as a vector but it's not a plasmid vector therefore a cannot be the answer option b extra chromosomal autonomously replicating circular dna extra chromosomal means beyond the chromosome it's not a part of the nucleus extra dna extra dna autonomously replicating independently replicating plasmid is independent it doesn't care for anyone else it is very independent it doesn't have to care about anyone else independently replicating circular dna absolutely correct answer is b but i am still going to read the other options option c sticky end of the dna no that doesn't make sense sticky at end of the dna is not the answer any fragment of dna which carries a desirable gene children can you put any piece of dna into uh, for recombinant dna technology any piece of dna can you put can you no you can't please ask all your doubts please ask your doubts i am looking through your questions no please ask all your doubts okay option 4 is also not possible answer is question answer number 2 make a note of it okay doubt puchte jao puchte jao doubt hai mat bolo doubt puchte jao theek hai aage badh sakte hai shall we go to the next question everybody ready for the next question let's do it <coughs> let's do the next question i hope all of you are ready done writing let's do it people let's go to the next question which is this which organism is used to transfer tdna what is tdna oh what is tdna what is tdna with a capital t what is the full form of tdna first you tell me that what is full form of tdna tell quickly what is this tdna business tdna tdna Uh, Priya is asking, "Ma'am, where is Ambika, ma'am? Ambika, ma'am is going to come for another chapter, my dear child. She will be coming, okay? Because full day we will be having lectures, no? So one one teacher will be taking one one chapter for all of you, okay? Perfect. Uh, what is tDNA? tDNA is transfer DNA. Are you sure? Are you sure tDNA is transfer DNA? So then, what is tIDNA? What is tIDNA? What is tIDNA? Give me full form of tIDNA." tumor inducing dna correct tumor inducing plasmid you have to be very careful my dear children what you are writing in the examination let's go into greater detail which organism is used to transfer tdna where do you get it agrobacterium tumefaciens in which method were we using this see first option is strepto streptomyces not streptomyces streptomyces hygroscopicus not the answer agrobacterium tumefaciens bachcho नेमाटोड वर्म होता है नेमाटोड वर्म होता है जिसका नाम था मेलियोडॉग्ने है ना दिस मेलियोडॉग्ने विच वॉज द नेमाटोड वर्म वॉज इन्फेक्टिंग टोबैको प्लांट्स रिमेंबर टोबैको प्लांट्स को ये इन्फेक्ट करता था सो इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोटेक्ट ओके इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोटेक्ट वी यूज टू यूज RNA interference technique. Now that's a completely different technique. We will talk about it later. However, why did I bring that concept over here? Once you saw that these worms and these bacteria and all these things they infect a plant, we saw that there is an organism called Agrobacterium tumefaciens which gives off a disease called as crown gall tumor. Crown gall tumor. Again within the tobacco plant. Remember this. है ना सो देर वर अज ऑफ पैथोजन दैट वर देर तो नेमाटोड वर्म इज देर नेमाटोड वर्म इज गोइंग टू डू अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ इन्फेक्शन एग्रो बैक्टीरियम ट्यूमिफिशन इज देर विच कॉज अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ इन्फेक्शन वी आर यूजिंग द एग्रो बैक्टीरियम ट्यूमिफिशन विच इज अ पैथोजन एंड वी आर यूजिंग द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दिस पैथोजन टू रीड समथिंग वी आर यूजिंग इट टू पिक अप देर टी डी एन ए वी आर यूजिंग द टी डी एन ए बिकॉज दैट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर अस लेटर करेक्ट सो आंसर इज Two agrobacterium tumefaciens. Okay, sure. Do you want me to go in detail? Anybody needs an explanation of what is agrobacterium tumefaciens doing? Anyone wants to go into detail? Next question. Pe chale jaaye ham. Shall we go to the next question? 
we'll go to the next question huh? let's not delve into too much detail here snap snap more questions biolistics gene gun is suitable for which of the following yes biolistic gene gun is suitable for which of the following <coughs> Answer. Yeah, options are disarming, disarming pathogen vectors. That means there is a pathogen that is existing. Us pathogen ko disarm karne ke liye. Matlab usko nakar banane ke liye. Usko koi kaam nahi karta hua banane ke liye. Transformation of plant cell. Constructing recombinant DNA by joining with vector DNA fingerprinting. Bataiye jana. Option. Option. Correct answer is very good. Transformation of plant cell. Now I'll tell you why transformation of plant cell will be the answer. Children, what is biolistic or gene gun method? If you guys remember, there was a topic called as competent, competent, competent host cell. How do you make a host cell competent? Define a competent host cell. Host cell which is competent means it has the ability to pick up ability to pick up foreign DNA. If someone has the ability to pick up foreign DNA, they are said to be competent. Correct? That is the definition. Write and keep. To make competent, there were many procedures that were there. There was the calcium treatment. There was the heat shock method. Correct? Correct? Heat shock method, heat shock treatment. What else was there? What else was there? RNA interference, you have a doubt, na, child? I'm going to talk about it in more detail. Okay? Bataiye or, or bataiye, what else can be used? Ability to pick up foreign DNA karne ke liye. Calcium treatment can be used. Heat shock treatment can be used. What else should be used? Jaldi batao. Ma'am, next question. Sandhu, tell me the answer. Uske baad, aur kya kar sakta hai? Biolistic gene gun method. So, biolistic gene gun method, if you use... That biolistic gene gun method is going to be very important in plants specifically. You cannot use this on animals because animal cells are more sensitive. If you use a gun against animal cells, they are going to push. Right? So you have to use them for transformation of plant cells only because this is otherwise very sensitive. Okay. Micro injection is another method. Very good. I was asking you people that only. Very nice. Okay, so all these methods. This can come as a two mark short note. Write all the different ways in which competent host cell can be created. Two marks short note. Okay, next question. Let's go. There you go. How are transformants selected from non-transformants? Ha ha ha. How are transformants selected from non-transformants? Good question. Beautiful question. Yes. Soch ke batana hai. Define karna hai what is transformant or what is non-transformant. Transformant matla transformant means just it has picked up that particular vector that had to be picked up. Is it recombinant? We don't know that yet. Transformant means it has picked up the vector, the gene of interest. It has picked up the vector. Did it? Become recombinant, we don't know. So, under transformant, there are two subtitles. One, recombinant and second, non-recombinant. Do we care about recombinant and non-recombinant right now? We don't care about it. I am just telling you, under transformant, there are two choices that are given. So, we have side of it. We have to say that how are transformants selected from non-transformants? So, if somebody picks up a vector, obviously, what will they show? They will have features of selectable marker. Kuch to selectable marker ke features dikhayenge. Hai na? Selectable marker wale features dikhane chahiye. Kuch to dikhane chahiye. To options hai. Presence of one, more than one recognition site in vector DNA. Bacho, do you think this is the answer? Do you think? Do you think? Yes? Do you think it's the answer? No. Presence of alien DNA into the vector DNA results into insertional inactivation of the selectable marker. Possible. Very, very, very possible. 
antibiotic resistance gene get inactivated due to insertion of D alien DNA. Possible. So, if you people do not remember this, very quickly I am telling you, agar ye aapka plasmid hai bachho, if this is your plasmid, okay, in the plasmid, okay, this is the antibiotic resistance gene. This is the antibiotic ABC resistance gene. So, what is happening is, when we did the process of ligation, we have seen the antibiotic resistance gene will break and it will incorporate the DNA of interest between it. Correct? So, this is our gene of interest. And antibiotic resistance gene has broken because of that. So, antibiotic resistance genes is not alive anymore. Insertional inactivation has happened. Insertional inactivation has happened. So, how would you understand there is a transformer? By understanding insertional inactivation of the selectable marker. Understandable children? So, answer for this question will be both A, uh, 2 and 3. B and C, both options are correct. Perfect. Note it down. Achha. Children, suppose you need some amount of time. So, I am going to question. No? Fata fata, I am going to next, next, next question. Suppose you need a little bit extra time. You people have to tell me, ma'am, can you go back to the previous question? You have to tell me that. Okay? Chalo, next one. Very good. Very good, Ali. Tetracycline resistance and ampicillin resistance is what we were talking about. Next question. Which of the following is not characteristics of PBR322 vector? Wow. Short note. Short note of PBR322 vector. Short note. Two marks. Write a short note on PBR322. It has come previously. You have to draw the diagram. Very important diagram, PBR322. I have told you people shortcut. How to remember PBR322's entire diagram. With the mnemonic, I have taught you people. So, just go through that once. Diagram is important. Hai. Bacho, question dekho, se read karo, answer do fata fat. Meko thoda pani bine do, chalo. Haan. <coughs> Ma'am, class to IT pe hai. Haan, class to IT pe aa gaya. Hmm. What is this mixed mixed answer? What is this mixed mixed answer? Children, which of the following is not a characteristic? My brothers, my brothers, my sisters, not a characteristics. But so please, I know it is morning and everything. I know you people did not have your uh, morning cup of nicotine in terms of coffee and chai. I understand you have not taken a bath, but please read the question. Which of the following is not a characteristic? What are you doing? It is the first artificial cloning vector constructed in 1977 by Bolivar and Rodriguez. That is correct. No. PBR full form is only that. PBR full form is plasmid of Bolivar and Rodriguez. What is this behavior? What is this behavior? Huh? Oh, -ho. my toppers. It is most widely used, versatile and easily manipulated vector. It is, right? Most widely used, easily manipulated. It is. It is. Now, you guys are saying, B. B is not a... It is very widely used and versatile. It has two antibiotic resistance genes, tetracycline and ampicillin. Is that true? Taclus. That is true. Yes. And finally, it does not have restriction site for SAL1. It does not have restriction site for SAL1. It does not. Of course, it has. My dear students, this option is the only option that is incorrect. Therefore, the answer for this question is option 4. You can write this as a short note in the exam. If it comes in the exam, you write this as a short note. That will also be great. Can we go to the next question, people? Ready? Ma'am, can you explain the diagram of PBR? Uh, my stroke covers, I'm definitely going to do that, child. I'm going to come to those questions. First, I'm finishing all the MCQs. I'll finish the MCQs, then I'll go into those questions. Okay, just hold on, hold on. We have another hour of session. I have lots of content for all of you. Lots of content. Just stay patient. I'm going to do everything with you people, okay? Because the questions that I've brought today are those questions, my dear children, which have come in the previous years, which I'm expecting that has not come in previous years, will come this year. Those type of questions. I am really excited. Which of the following is palindromic sequence? Go. Go for it. Ma'am, mujhe na ye chapter bilkul samaj nahi aara. Okay. Shambhavi, tumne revise kiya hai mere bachche. Padhai ki thi. Thoda sa revision hua tha aapka. 
तुम एक काम कर सकते हो अगर तुमको पढ़ना ही है तो वन शॉट देखना पड़ेगा अभी तुमको बच्चों वन शॉट लेक्चर्स बहुत सारे रिकॉर्डेड मिल जाएंगे हमारे हर एक चैनल्स में देर आर वन वन शॉट लेक्चर्स ऑफ बायोटेक प्रिंसिपल्स एंड प्रोसेस यू गाइस कैन गो एंड वॉच इट मैम डू यू हैव योर ओन लेक्चर तो बच्चे मैंने कोई इंग्लिश में लेक्चर रिकॉर्ड नहीं करा हुआ है बट इफ यू गाइज आर मलयालीज और तमिलियंस और समथिंग यू गाइज आई हैव अ मलयालम चैनल ऑफ वेदांत देर आई हैव रिकॉर्डेड वन शॉट लेक्चर ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी यू गाइज कैन गो एंड चेक इट आउट इफ यू नीड हाउ एवर इन इंग्लिश आई हैव नॉट रिकॉर्डेड आई एम सो सॉरी बट यू कैन वॉच अम्बिका मैम्स लेक्चर यू कैन वॉच अदर टीचर्स आर देयर नो दे हैव ऑब्वियसली रिकॉर्डेड वन शॉट यू कैन वॉच दैट वन शॉट देख लेना ओके विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ पैलेंट्रोमिक सिक्वेंस परफेक्ट ऑसम 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 awesome ma'am fast you guys tell the answer perfect children this is not palindromic palindromic means it has to read the same in both the directions like the word radar like the word mom it has to read the same in both the directions so here we are saying that if you read g a a t t c then you are reading g a a t t c then this direction this direction both are read the same it is a palindrome You guys have given the correct answer. Option C is the correct answer. Absolutely. Okay. Hindi chahiye bache. Hindi me padna hai. Tumko Hindi me. Kyu? Hindi me padna hai. English me padho. Chalo. Next question. Bacho case study question. Case study. Case study. Actually, I should not have given you options here, but I thought I will save some time for you people. So I gave the options also. Please read the question and find out the answer and tell me. I'm giving you exactly 15 seconds to read the question, understand the question, and give the answer in the chat box. Come on. Queen Noor is asking. Is the Hindi a na? Noor, are you meaning to say you want to like learn in Hindi, bache? Are you saying that, bache? Hindi want to learn in or? हिंदी में सीखना है ऐसा है क्या अच्छा हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी ऐसा कोई है जो हिंदी नहीं समझता है बच्चों ओके आंसर्स हैव स्टार्टेड कमिंग इन आंसर्स हैव स्टार्टेड कमिंग इन एक्सेलेंट ब्यूटीफुल केस स्टडी क्वेश्चन चिल्ड्रन दिस कैन राइट नाउ आई एम आस्किंग इट एज अ वन मार्क क्वेश्चन दे कैन आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर थ्री मार्क्स वाई कैन दे आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर थ्री मार्क्स थ्री मार्क्स में पूछ सकते हैं ना मैम क्लास कितने बजे तक चलेगी बच्चे मैंने तो कंटेंट 11:30 तक का बनाया हुआ है तो एक 11:25 तक अपना जो सेशन है चलेगा बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस ले आई हूं मैं जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ठीक है नो आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी हाँ सी दैट्स व्हाट दैट्स व्हाट सो सो मेनी चिल्ड्रन हु डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी इंग्लिश तो यार तुम सबको समझ में आता है बच्चों ऐसे मत करो प्यारे बच्चे हो ना कल एग्जाम है ना मस्ती नहीं करते ना पढ़ाई करो प्लीज अच्छे बच्चे हो ना मैम के टकलूज हो ना मैम के टकलूज हो ना मैम के टकलूज ने सब ने फटाफट फटाफट हाँ आंसर देना है चलो ओके गिवसन डजन अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी हाँ ही डजन हाँ आंसर आ गया बच्चों मैम आंसर आ गया पाव पाव चाइल्ड डजन अंडरस्टैंड पाव ओके गिव मी गिव मी द आंसर पीडीएफ मिल जाएगी बिल्कुल मिल जाएगी अस्मित मैं भेज दूंगी ओके हो गया मैम आप पढ़ाओ प्लीज अच्छा लगता है हर्षित यार आंसर दे मैम हिंदी में बोलिए ना हिंदी सबको समझ नहीं आ रही है मेरे बच्चे इसलिए ठीक है डन आंसर कैन आई टेल यू पीपल वेरी गुड सो मेजोरिटी ऑफ यू पीपल हु आर सीरियसली एंड सिंसियरली स्टडिंग दे हैव गिवन द आंसर पीपल आर डूइंग टाइम पास डेंट गिव मी द आंसर टिल नाउ सो लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन आंसर देर इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ डी एन ए फ्रेगमेंट्स विच हैव ए बी सी डी फ्रेगमेंट्स इन दैम नाउ द मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ ए एंड बी कंबाइंड इज सी which means c is a very big c is a very big fragment because when you combine a and b together then you are getting c so c is a very big fragment okay but a is greater than b here they have given a is greater than b so if a is greater than b it is still going to be smaller than c so somewhere over here i will write a a and b i will write like this why because i know for a fact that a is going to be bigger b is going to be smaller the last option that they have given is d is greater than c so d is the biggest apparently d is the biggest so if d is the biggest i'll put it over here so it's the biggest correct so d is biggest c is big a is slightly big than b so big big small smallest okay now the question is was subjected to agarose gel electrophoresis 
position of these fragments will be so the position of the fragments will be on the basis of their size obviously so let's say smallest is b then a then c then d the answer is b a c d b a c d how many of you got the correct answer number 1 is the correct answer how many of you got the answer 1 give a round of applause if you got the correct answer children write it let's go forward okay write it let's go forward it's beautiful these questions hai na incredible ma'am we have never done these questions before they are very important go let's go forward what is the Re ready for the next question give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready for the next question yes ready all right awesome next question is this what is the source of eco r1 what is the source of eco r1 beautiful question what is the source of eco r1 yes very good awesome yes my dear students my sincere students of the class do not be distracted by the chat box the chat box will go on and on as you people obviously know you guys go ahead and only answer the questions to me and i am reading your answers all the sincere children okay non sincere children i don't care about i'm not talking to you people at all all right perfect answers have started coming in come on yes read all the option escherichia coli r1 escherichia coli r i13 escherichia coli r y13 escherichia coli rx13 my dear children this can come as a question in the examination where they will ask you write a short note on nomenclature nomenclature of eco r1 like why why is the name eco r1 coming where did that come from e comes from the fact that the genus name is s cherichia in yesterday's lecture someone told me ma'am i don't know the spelling and everything ma'am is my marks going to be deducted in the exam 100% if your spelling is wrong your answer is wrong spelling is wrong answer is wrong if your name is nidhi n i d h i and if i write n i d y as nidhi then that's wrong no doesn't make sense only escherichia is escherichia you can't miss the spelling c o stands for the species name coli R stands for the strain name. R Y thirteen, and one stands for order of discovery. Correct, correct. Write it down. Answer for this question, as everybody has correctly given the answer, is three Escherichia coli R Y thirteen. Perfect. Let's go to the next question, people. Very good, beautiful. What is this emoji? Oh, that's such a cute emoji. What is this new emoji that you people are getting into the picture? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the next question. Which of the following is a cloning vector? Which of the following is a cloning vector? Come on. Which of the following is a cloning vector? DNA of Salmonella typhi murium, TI plasmid, ampicillin and tetracyclin loci, ORI which is ORI minus the PBR three twenty two. This is amazing. Tell me, Raja educating. Can you please give the answer? <laughs> Hi child please give me answer which of the following is a cloning vector okay answer is simple as answer started coming in easy question hai ma'am bahut easy question hai fatafat answer do jaldi ma'am ha ha pdf de dungi tension mat lo d is the answer b is the answer my dear children b is the answer ti plasmid tumor inducing plasmid tumor inducing plasmid is obtained from an organism called as Agrobacterium tumefaciens. Let me talk to you people about the story of this guy. Agrobacterium tumefaciens is a bad guy. Okay, he's a bad guy, children. He has a plasmid in him called as the TI plasmid. Now it's a bad plasmid. Why is it a bad bad plasmid? Is because if this particular plasmid enters any organism's body, that body will get a crown gall tumor. Crown gall tumor. Ma'am, we will also get no. It's a plant disease, my dear children. The plant will get crown gall tumor if TI plasmid enters inside the body of the plant. So what we do is we are biotechnologists. All of us are biotechnologists. We are going to be taking the TI plasmid. We are going to be cutting it down into smaller pieces and strands and everything. And we are going to remove the toxic part or the the harmful part of the TI plasmid. We remove the we remove the harmful part. remove the remove the harmful genes and use this ability of the plasmid to infect everyone we will remove the harmful genes and instead of the harmful genes we will put in things that we think are very very important 
Okay, JJ ma'am, students are very very clear about this. Can I go to the next question? Finish writing. Five seconds to finish writing. Let's go to the next question, people. Come on. Uh, in the last question, R Y thirteen came Gunal because R Y thirteen is the strain name of the E. coli. Strain name. Okay, perfect. Done. Next question, everybody. Ma'am, thank you for the MCQ practice. Ari, love it, love it. Love the fact that you are loving it. Nice. Okay, let's go, Bachu. Let's go. Let's go to the next question. Here we go. NCERT, strict NCERT question. Recombinant DNA technology involves several steps in which initial step is of isolation of the DNA. Which enzymes are used in the process for breakdown of fungal cell, plant cell, bacterial cell in that order? Do not. I repeat, do not change the order. If you change the order, marks are gone. Come on, give the answer. Hmm. Come on. Ha. Doubt you people have no? Please ask, my dear children. Aryan T DNA ko remove karte hai. Correct hai, mere bache. Ha. Yes. Yes. Very good. Ha. Thank you, Harshit. You're the best. Okay. Bacho. Answer आ गया very nice option B chitinase cellulase lysozyme very beautifully the answers have come in from all of you very good chitinase is to break the chitin in the fungal cell wall plant cell is broken by the cellulose it has so cellulase will break it down bacterial cell can be broken by lysozyme okay the contrasting option was trypsin trypsin is used to break down proteins okay so lysozyme is the answer not trypsin answer will be option 2 i am expecting these questions to come in tomorrow's board examination it is i am finger crossing and i am thinking ki ye aana chahiye ye aayega to bachcho jo maza aayega because ye sab kitne important questions hai na chalo aur ek question aa gaya bachcho i think mcq wala last question hai ye this is the last mcq question please try to answer it properly then we'll go into more details restriction enzymes dash define restriction enzymes Ma'am, what is the difference between mRNA and tRNA? Harshil, I'll just tell you, my dear children. Ma'am, can you please tell me difference between recombinant and transformant? Dipshika, I'm going to tell you that. Finish this question, I'll tell you that. Perfect. All right, I'll tell you everything. Don't worry. Two questions I've read. I will just answer both the questions for all of you. Aage answer. Answer is A dash R endonuclease which cleaves DNA at specific site. Make DNA complementary to an existing DNA or RNA. Cut or join DNA fragments. That is done by ligase. They are required in vectorless direct to gene transfer. No, all this doesn't make sense at all. Okay, now I'll just quickly, very quickly. Somebody has asked me, ma'am, can you explain uh, that concept to us? You know that kind of thing. I'll just quickly explain that concept for all of you. What is that concept? Somebody has asked us. What is the difference between mRNA and tRNA? First, we'll do that quickly, very quickly. In two minutes, I'll explain and we'll move on. mRNA and tRNA. What is the difference between the two? mRNA is messenger RNA, which has mRNA is messenger RNA, which has start codon called as AUG. Then all these triplet codons will be there. and uh, finally there will be a stop codon which will be uaa uga or uag okay this is used why is mrna used mrna is used only when we want to make proteins this is used to make proteins this stores the information to making proteins why why is trna different trna is different because trna is a structure like this which is responsible for bringing amino acids that are responsible for making proteins this is the amino acid amino acid is brought by trna so bringing the amino acid is the job of the trna during protein synthesis mrna holds the information for making protein trna brings the amino acid for making proteins perfect everybody this was one thing one question that people had another question that one child had was what um there was a question what is the difference between recombinant and transformant i'll tell you that on a new slide everybody is done writing this ha huh. clover leaf model and everything correct let me go to another slide and there i will explain the difference between transformant and recombinant let me just come back and uh, show you all the other questions i have ready for all of you and i told you know i have amazing questions ready for all of you karke i'll give you those 
Okay. Now, before I go into those, I'll just explain to you people the difference between recombinant and transformants, right? Children, suppose you have any important, yeah, suppose you have uh, a bacteria, okay? Now, the bacteria has two choices. There is a vector which is waiting outside. This is a vector, okay? And this is the bacteria. Now, this vector can be created in two manners. One, there is a vector which did not pick up the DNA of interest. This is the vector, but where vector does not have the DNA of interest. It's just the vector. And here, there is a vector which picked up the DNA of interest. So, this is, say, recombinant vector. Okay, why recombinant? Because this is what has the DNA of interest. The second one that I have made, that is the one that has the DNA of interest. So, that is a recombinant vector. Now, suppose this bacteria picks up this vector. If the bacteria picks up a vector, okay, then the bacteria is called transformant bacteria. Ma'am, does it matter which vector it picked up? No. If it picks up any vector, it's a transformant bacteria. If it did not pick up, if it did not pick up anything, then it is non-transformant. Okay, now what is recombinant? Recombinant means, again, I am making two bacteria. Okay. Now, this bacteria picked up the vector. This bacteria also picked up the vector. What is the difference? The difference is this. This bacteria has a vector which contains the DNA of interest in it. So, this is transformant, but not recombinant. But not recombinant. Understood? Is it recombinant? It is not recombinant. It doesn't have the vector of choice. It doesn't have the DNA of choice. However, this one, this one, right? This one that's there, this has picked up the vector. So, this is transformant and it is a recombinant. So, it is automatically a recombinant. Why? Because it has picked up the DNA of interest. Understood? Ma'am, what is cloning sites? Okay. I'll tell you what is cloning sites. Everybody is clear about this. I think Harshil had asked this question. Somebody had, Deepshika had asked this question. I hope this is clear to everybody. Can we go on? Okay. What is cloning sites you're asking? Cloning site is the specific place. Cloning site is a specific place into which DNA of interest can be incorporated. Is that cool, Harshil? Okay. DNA can be incorporated into cloning site. That's the area. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. You are a lovely child. Thank you. Okay. My dear children, I'll talk to you people about insertion, inactivation and everything. Let's do a few more questions. Given below are two statements about polymerase chain reaction. Okay. This question is from the sample paper. Sample paper question this is. And I have brought the answer from the marking scheme only. Just pick it up. It mimics DNA replication that happens in a cell. It cannot be used to amplify RNA molecule. Please read and tell me the answer. Which of these is or are true? Only P is true. Only Q is true. Both P and Q are true. Neither P or Q are true. Please give the answer. Yes. Fatta fat answer de do. Fatta fat answer de do. Give me the answer quickly. Answer please. Yes. Options have started coming in. Come on. Uh, most of you has, that have started answering is giving me the answer C. Ma'am, one question on Tatwa for yeast cell. What is the answer for isolation? Uh, SB Shastri, I'll have to see that question, my dear child. Please send that question to me on Telegram. I'll answer it to you on Telegram. Okay. Take a screenshot and send it to me on Telegram. I'll Telegram my answer with you. Now, you people are telling me C is the answer. Now, does the marking scheme agree with this? Let's find out. My dear children, this is the marking scheme answer. Marking scheme is saying only P. A is the correct answer. What? How is this possible? Let's read the question together and find out how only A is the answer as given in the marking scheme. This is not a home production question. I didn't make this question at home. This is a question given in your CBSE sample paper. So do not come at me, people. It mimics DNA replication that happens in a cell. Polymerase chain reaction mimic karta hai DNA replication ko jo cell mein hota hai. True. Very true. 
absolutely true ma'am what is this it cannot be used to amplify rna molecule my dear children i'll tell you where it is written okay there is a chapter called biotech applications you know there is a chapter called biotech applications we are learning the chapter called as biotech principles and processes there is a chapter called biotech applications in that chapter no there is a paragraph where they talk about hiv they say pcr machine is used to amplify and detect the presence of hiv sentence is given so that gives you the idea see this is application based questions you people ask no what is application what is this is application there it is written that hiv can be detected with the help of pcr machines where rna molecules are amplified rt pcr no children rt pcr so option q is a false statement cannot be used to amplify false it is used to amplify so the answer will be only p is the true statement ma'am what yes please write it down rt pcr no covid batches rt pcr no yeah finish it come on let's go ma'am evolution abhi tak padhani important topic bata dijiye please evolution ka bachche tum one shot dekho kyunki evolution ka ek kal session liya tha maine mm hmm जो भी इंपॉर्टेंट है वहां पे बताया था तो एक काम करना है वन शॉट देखो अभी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आई थिंक अमित का मैम एवोल्यूशन लेके आ रही है तो मैम से पूछ लेना जरा ठीक है बच्चे मैं रूड नहीं हो रही हूँ मेरे को यहाँ पे बताना नहीं है क्योंकि यहाँ पे क्या है वी आर डूइंग दीज क्वेश्चन पे बस देखो आधे घंटे में मेरे को और कितने सारे क्वेश्चन करने हैं चलो 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 फटाफट आगे बढ़ता है कमन हियर इज अ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन चिल्ड्रेन के स्टडी क्वेश्चन टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन के स्टडी टू मार्क्स चलो Nidhi performed gel electrophoresis after treating one vector with restriction enzyme. Hey, she has only one rest one vector, and that she has treated with restriction enzymes. Okay, good for her. She added one mixture in well Q. Cha. Okay, and another mixture in well R. Given below is an image of the result. Ma'am, these questions are going to come for our board exams. Yesterday, someone made a very sly comment. Ma'am, board exams are looking more difficult than NEET exam also. Yeah, it is going to be. If your basics are not clear, then that that option will be there. But so, lekin yar, Hindi me ek baar batati hu Vinay Prata. Question me bola hai ki Nidhi ne na Nidhi hai. Usko koi kam nahi hai. To Nidhi ne na gel electrophoresis kara hai. To usne kya kara? एक रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम को लेके या रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स को लेके वो मेंशन नहीं है कि कितने रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम मैडम ने यूज किए रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स को लेके एक वेक्टर को ट्रीट कर दिया एक मिक्सचर मैडम ने क्यू वेल में डाला और एक मिक्सचर मैडम ने आर वेल में डाला तो रिजल्ट्स ये जो नीचे दिख रहे हैं ये रिजल्ट्स आ गए आपको दिख रहा है थ्री हंड्रेड केबीपी टू हंड्रेड केबीपी और हंड्रेड केबीपी पे आपको दिख रहा है कि बैंड आए हैं क्वेश्चन ये है वॉट कैन बी कंक्लूडेड अबाउट द मिक्सचर लोडेड इन दी एंड क्यू P और Q में क्या फर्क है P और Q में क्या फर्क है यस P और Q में क्या फर्क है है ना वेरी नाइस हाँ ओके बच्चों जो एग्जाम्स खराब गए वो खराब गए उसको जाने दो हमको पढ़ाई करनी है बस हमको पढ़ाई से मतलब है जो खराब गए वो खराब गए हम बस पढ़ेंगे जल्दी बताओ देखो ये खराब नहीं जाना चाहिए तभी तो मैं ये सब क्वेश्चन चलो मैम दिस क्वेश्चन इनफ फॉर एनसीआर टी हाँ हाँ इट्स वेरी इनफ इट्स वेरी इनफ ओके पी इज हैवी क्यू इज लाइट कुछ भी नहीं 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 दैट्स नॉट द आंसर नितिन पॉइंट टेकन पॉइंट नोटेड बट आई थिंक दैट इज वेरी ऐसा इनसेंसिटिव टू से टू अदर चिल्ड्रन नो बच्चे ऐसे इनसेंसिटिव बातें नहीं करते हम तो भाई नॉलेज एड कर रहे हैं हम uh, कुछ कंपेरिजन नहीं करेंगे हाँ बस अच्छा बच्चा मेरा अच्छा बच्चा चलो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टी एंड क्यू वेल P N Q well का डिफरेंस बच्चों ये है दैट P वेल में मैडम ने वेक्टर वैसे के वैसे डाल दिया था शी एडेड द वेक्टर विदाउट कटिंग इट सो वट एपन दैट वेक्टर एज इट इज इज थ्री हंड्रेड किलो बेस पे एस बिग तो वेन शी इज एडेड इट डिरेक्टली वो उतना सा स्ट्रक्चर वैसे के वैसे ही उसमें लोड हो गया तो एक ही बैंड आ रहा है यू आर गेटिंग वन बैंड इट इज अनकट वैक्टर दैट शी एज पुट समझ में आ रहा है इन पी शी एज एडेड अनकट वेक्टर इसके लिए एक सिंगल बैंड आया ओके सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन है कि Q में क्या हो रहा है Q में क्या हो रहा है बच्चों Q में बताती हूँ क्या हो रहा है ये Q है Q में 200 और 100 स्प्लिट टू है मीन्स वॉट ये वेक्टर को मैडम ने काटा है 
she has cut it so when she cut it what has happened is she got two pieces obviously she got two pieces one became 100 kbp and one became 200 kbp so yahan pe kya ho gaya cuts aaye hain iske liye it has broken down so it can be concluded that the one that went into q has been cut and the one that went into p is uncut that's the conclusion that you will come to okay fir next part of the question is what is the likely reason that fragment in q and r is also different but jo q and r itna different kyu hai why is q and r so different from each other why is q and r so different from each other q and r ka kya fanda hai q and r bhi to itna different hai why r is so broken r is so broken because see this is the answer kya children this is how to write well p contain uncut vector whereas q contain vector cut by restriction enzyme vector in the well q has been cut by a restriction enzyme that has two sides only two sides whereas vector in well r has been cut either by different enzymes or by one enzyme that has more than two sides so yahan pe alag restriction enzyme use karke cut hua tha to do hi cut hua and r mein kya hua आर में ऐसा रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम यूज किया गया था जिसके मल्टीपल कट्स होने के ऑप्शंस थे तो चार अलग अलग मल्टीपल साइड्स थे कटिंग के लिए तो मल्टीपल साइड्स की वजह से इट हैज बीन फ्रैगमेंटेड इनटू मेनी डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ठीक है समझ में आया सो दिस इज हाउ यू विल राइट इट इन द एग्जाम टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन डिड यू लव द क्वेश्चन चिल्ड्रन कैन यू प्लीज राइट इट डाउन एवरीबडी गिव मी अ थम्स अप इफ यू आर डन राइटिंग यस यस Give me a thumbs up if you are done writing. Hmm. Next question me jai. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Perfect, abe chhu. Aage bade. Mm hmm. Ma'am, three hundred kbp means three hundred kbp means three hundred kilo base pairs. Matlab, ye jo value hai, uske saath multiply by thousand. Utna base pairs. Matlab, itna bada hai. Aise karke. समझ आई मैम डन डन आगे बढ़े नीट वाले बच्चे ने पूछा नीट स्टडी ब्लॉग इज आस्ट व्हाट इज अन एम्बिगुअस कोडॉन एंड यूनिवर्सल कोडॉन प्लीज आंसर द क्वेश्चन मैम अन एम्बिगुअस कोडॉन एंड यूनिवर्सल कोडॉन बच्चे वी आर डूइंग बायोटेक राइट नाउ नो तो यू कैन डू वन थिंग यू कैन सेंड मी दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन टेलीग्राम टेलीग्राम पे मैं तुमको वो आंसर कर दूंगी ठीक है आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिक्स अप टू डिफरेंट चैप्टर्स एट द सेम टाइम है ना लेट्स नॉट डू दैट लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पीपल डू दिस Papaya is a widely cultivated crop in several regions. However, its production was limited by papaya ring spot disease, which is used by papaya ring spot virus. Ma'am, I don't think we have this in the syllabus. You have it in your syllabus, children. This is a sample paper question. Sample paper से मैं उठा के लेके आई हूँ इसको. ये biotech chapter का ही question है. Ma'am, नहीं है syllabus में. बच्चों promise ये syllabus में है. ओके okay, पपया के बारे में किधर लिखा नहीं है इसको बोलते हैं केस स्टडी क्वेश्चन ऐसे होते हैं केस स्टडी क्वेश्चन कल एग्जाम में ऐसे क्वेश्चंस आएंगे तो डरना नहीं है बहुत आसान होता है आपको बस डराने के लिए दिस एंटायर पैराग्राफ इज गिवन सो दैट दे कैन स्केयर यू अ लिटिल बिट पपया प्लांट्स इन्फेक्टेड बाय पी आर एस वी शो सिम्टम्स ऑफ येलोइंग डिस्कलरेशन ऑफ लीफ एंड रिंग स्पॉट ऑन द फ्रूट पी आर एस वी बिलोंग्स टू द जीनस पट्टी वायरस विच हैज अ सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन एज इट्स जेनेटिक मटीरियल Explain the step-by-step -step process to inhibit viral RNA from surviving in papaya plant, thus creating disease-resistant varieties of papaya. क्या है बच्चों इसका आंसर? What see? Question looks so complicated. Answer is so simple. What is the answer? What is the answer? What is the answer, children? क्या है आंसर? हाँ. <laughs> What is the answer? आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस इज दंसर नो है ना बच्चो आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस इज दंसर आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस मतलब फाइव मार्क्स के लिए आपको आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस आर एन ए आई एक्सप्लेन करना पड़ेगा कैन आई एक्सप्लेन इट यू बच्चो मैं एक्सप्लेन कर दू आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस एक बार आता है आप लोगों को कि मैं एक्सप्लेन करूं मैं करती हूँ एक्सप्लेन पहले बाकी क्वेश्चन भी पढ़ लेता है नेम द बायोटेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस डिफाइंड इन ए एंड गिव अ रीजन वाई इट इज द अप्रोप्रिएट प्रोसेस टू बी यूज इन दिस केस लेट अस start the answer okay you have to write a big answer this answer is the answer key marking scheme mein se nikala hai bachcho maine ye ye marking scheme hai aapka 
ये आंसर की का बोर्ड अप्रूव्ड आंसर की है ये मैंने वहां से ले आई हूं मैं ये मैं आपको एक बार एक्सप्लेनेशन दे देती हूँ बच्चों जब भी भी हम आर एन इंटरफेरेंस की बात करें हम आर एन इंटरफेरेंस क्यों यूज करते हैं आर एन इंटरफेरेंस के पास ना एक कैपेसिटी होता है कोई भी ऑर्गेनिज्म के आर को साइलेंस यानी कि चुप कराने का कैसे काम करते हैं ये लोग सपोज ये कोई पैथोजन का आर है ये पैथोजन के आर को जैसे पैथोजन हमारे शरीर में आ जाएगा वो पैथोजन की वजह से हमको कुछ ना कुछ एक बीमारी हो जाएगी तो आपको पैथोजन को चुप कराना है पैथोजन को चुप कराने के लिए टू साइलेंस द आर एन ए पैथोजन आर एन ए ऑफ द पैथोजन वी यूज अ सिस्टम कॉल्ड एज आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस ये आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस कुछ इस तरीके से छोटे छोटे मॉलिक्यूल्स बनाता है ओके okay? ये आर एन ए आई आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस जाके इस पैथोजन के आर एन ए के साथ बाइंड करेगा जब ये पैथोजन के आर एन ए के साथ बाइंड करेगा That RNA RNA will not be able to work anymore. RNA of the pathogen is not able to work because RNA is a single stranded structure. If वो single stranded structure रहे ही गा ही नहीं तो फिर वो काम कैसे करेगा उसको आपने बांध दिया उसको आपने ब्लॉक कर दिया मैम इसको लिखिए कैसे एग्जाम में ऐसे लिखोगे बच्चों एग्जाम में बताते हो वायरल आर एन ए इज आइजोलेटेड एंड कन्वर्टेड इन टू डबल स्टैंडर्ड डी एन ए स्ट्रक्चर मतलब आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस बना सीरी चालू हो गई बात ही नहीं करा है सीरी चालू हो गई वहां पे ओके बच्चों क्या बोल रही थी मैं आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस बनाने के लिए यू हैव टू टेक डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए बनाना पड़ेगा आपको वो डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए जो है यू हैव टू पिक दैट अप एंड यू हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस इट इन टू अक्टर कॉल्ड एज एग्रो बैक्टीरियम ट्यूमिफेशियंस एग्रो बैक्टीरियम ट्यूमिफिशियंस Will go and give that particular double stranded DNA जिसका आर एन ए आगे जाके बनाना है टू द होस्ट प्लांट ओके थोड़ी देर के बाद क्या होगा धीरे धीरे आराम से ये जो वायरस इन्फेक्टिंग द प्लांट सेल विल इंजेक्ट इट्स आर एन ए ओके एंड द होस्ट प्लांट विल ट्रांसक्राइब द वायरल आर एन ए तो वायरल आर एन ए बॉडी के अंदर आ गया दिस वायरल आर एन ए विल बी ब्लॉक्ड ये वायरल आर एन ए को ब्लॉक करने के लिए आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस आएगा आर एन ए आई और आर एन ए इंटरफेरेंस helps in in vitro silencing of gene sets of gene gene sets so that they lose their function तो क्या हो गया जो पैथोजन का आर एन ए बाहर से आया है उसको हमने चुप करा दिया ओके okay? मैम बच्चे हम गाना गाने नहीं बैठे हैं ना फिलहाल हम नहीं गाना गाते हम पढ़ाई करते हैं ठीक है हम पढ़ाई करते हैं लिख के ले लिया सबने पांच मार्क का क्वेश्चन है बच्चों पांच मार्क के क्वेश्चन को पढ़ने के लिए हम बैठे हम ना गाना गाने के लिए नहीं बैठे गाना गाने के लिए मैं तुम्हारा बोर्ड एग्जाम्स खत्म होने के बाद अलग सेशन ले लेती हूँ मजे से गाना गाएंगे हम ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे जाते हैं ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच नालायक बच्चे चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देखो ये लो पीसीआर बच्चो पीसीआर पे क्वेश्चन है पॉलिमरी स्टेन रिएक्शन इज ऑफन यूज टू डिटेक्ट प्रेजेंस ऑफ पैथोजन लाइक बैक्टीरिया एंड वायरसेस इवन दो दे मी मी इन लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन वॉट इज द टेक्निक दैट अलाउज पीसीआर टू डिटेक्ट लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ पैथोजन कौन सा टेक्निक यूज करता है फटाफट आंसर दो वॉट इज द टेक्निक यूज वॉट इज द टेक्निक यूज टू अलाउ पीसीआर टू डिटेक्ट लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ पैथोजन टेल मी दंसर जल्दी बताओ कौन सी टेक्निक यूज करते हैं विच टेक्निक डू वी यूज एम्प्लीफिकेशन प्रोसेस इट इज यूजिंग तो फुल डिटेल में प्लीज एक्सप्लेन द एम्प्लीफिकेशन प्रोसेस ठीक है ना पूरा डिटेल में एम्प्लीफिकेशन प्रोसेस एक्सप्लेन करना एम्प्लीफिकेशन ठीक है एम्प्लीफिकेशन एक्सप्लेन करना फुल डिटेल में अनिलिंग कैसे होता है डिनेचुरेशन एम्प्लीफिकेशन एवरीथिंग यू एक्सप्लेन बिकॉज इट्स अ थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन सो एक्सप्लेन दैट Second part of the question is very interesting because the diagram has already been given. You don't have to draw the diagram. That's great. That's great. You don't have to draw the diagram. The image below shows step involved in a PCR. Step one is denaturation. Step two is annealing, and step three is extension. During a PCR, if step two is bypassed, what would be the implication of the process? अगर step two आपने निकाल दिया, bypassed मतलब it's bypassed. You don't do it only. Then what will happen? You tell me the answer, children. Yes. What will happen then? Hi Fazila, hello. Batao, bachu, what will happen if you don't do step two? What will happen? But tough it, batao.
हाँ रॉकी राजपूत पहले हम कल के एग्जाम का देखेंगे आंसर दीजिए पहले फटाफट कल का बोर्ड एग्जाम्स का पहले देखते हैं नीट का नहीं देखेंगे पहले पहले बोर्ड एग्जाम जिंदाबाद आंसर दीजिए फटाफट मैम यस नो एम्प्लीफिकेशन विल हैपन ऑब्वियसली विदाउट विदाउट वेरी गुड हा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड श्रीजा चिल्ड्रेन नो बाइंडिंग ऑफ दिस मतलब देर विल बी नो एम्प्लीफिकेशन ऑब्वियसली क्योंकि वो अनिलिंग ही नहीं होगा तो आगे एक्सटेंशन कैसे करेंगे सो नो एक्सटेंशन विल हैपन इफ यू बाईपास द स्टेप नंबर टू देन देर विल बी नो डी एन एट विल बी क्रिएटेड ऑसम क्वेश्चन फंटेस्टिक अंडरस्टूड हाउ वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम इन द एग्जामिनेशन नाउ लेट मी गो एंड टेक यू पीपल टू पी वाई क्यू इन द लास्ट फ्यू मिनट्स लेट मी टेक यू टू पी वाई क्यू क्वेश्चन मतलब जो प्रीवियसली आ चुके हैं Write any four ways used to introduce a desired DNA segment into a bacterial cell in recombinant technology experiments. Fatta fatta answer de do. Chal. <coughs> four ways. Four. Okay. These are all questions that have previously come in the board exams. Okay. So very important. Let me tell you the answer. Okay. I'll not wait for you people. I am telling you the answer. Option one: micro injection. Option two, disarmed pathogen vector. Option three, action of bivalent cations such as calcium. Option four, biolistic or gene gun method. If you want to write anything else, you can write anything else. Heat shock method. लिखो चाहिए तो जो भी लिखना है लिखो. But exam में they are asking four, so write only four. Finish writing, fatta fat. Let's go to the next one. Come on. Very nice. Fantastic. Let's go to the next question. Ready? Done writing, all of you. Srija done writing, Sumit done writing, perfect. Vedant done writing, Ajay done writing, perfect. Next question, everybody, ready? Why do DNA fragment move towards anode during gel electrophoresis? One mark question, fatta fat se answer de do. Why? Waiting for you, fifteen seconds to type and send. Type and send ke liye I'm giving you time. Come on. Why it moves towards anode? What is anode? Negatively charged, positively charged. First question. Yes. Hmm. Nice. Yes. Answer is very correct. The answer for this question will be. Answer is charge. DNA fragments are negatively charged molecule, which is because of their sugar phosphate backbone. So, anode is a positively charged electrode. Therefore. Negatively charged DNA will always move towards the positive terminal. Perfect, awesome. Next question, everybody. Next question. Write by taking a suitable example convention followed for naming the restriction enzymes. So you have to. This is the question that I was telling you earlier. पहले आपको example बताना है और example के बाद बताना है what are the rules of nomenclature. तो बच्चे बताना चालू कर दो. चलो. Very good, Srija. Very nice. All answers are coming into me now only. Yes. Very good, Rocky. Very good, Ashu. Good. Very nice. Awesome. Bichari <laughs> Riya, usne kya kiya tha tum logo bacho? Ha. Eco R one wala example le lo. Perfect hai. ये आंसर देख लो देखो आपने ले लिया इको आर वन आप ले लो इको आर वन आपको लेना है हाइंड थ्री आप ले लो हाइंड थ्री विच एवर यू आर मोर कंफर्टेबल इन टेक दैट ओनली डो नॉट टेक एनीथिंग वेर यू हैव इवन अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ कंफ्यूजन फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ द नेम कम्स फ्रॉम जीनस ओके नेक्स्ट टू लेटर कम्स फ्रॉम स्पीशीज ऑफ द प्रोकैरियोटिक सेल फ्रॉम विच द एंजाइम इज एक्सट्रैक्टेड रोमन नंबर फॉलोइंग द नेम शोज द ऑर्डर इन विच द एंजाइम वर आई इजोलेटेड एंड There is that bacterial strain which is also denoted. So, Eco R1 stands for Escherichia coli R Y30. I have already discussed this answer. Therefore, I am not discussing it again. I have already told you, children. So, you guys have to read it again. Don't read it again. But this is one of the popular questions. Let's go to the next question. Okay? Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, this is one popular question. This is a PYQ. Why is making cells? Competent, essential for biotechnological experiments. List any two ways by which this can be achieved. Okay, why is making competent important? Because 
if it does not become competent then otherwise how will it how will it pick up the dna right oops what is this uh, okay sorry ha huh. dna molecules are hydrophilic hence they cannot pass through cell membrane correct cell membrane if you people remember your 11th standard are made up of lipid bilayer cell membrane is made up of lipid bilayer correct cell membrane is made up of lipid bilayer if it is made up of lipid bilayer there is no way that the dna can enter without asking if dna is waiting outside dna is a polar molecule it loves water dna cannot enter inside directly it cannot enter inside directly that's not an option that it has it's not a choice that it can make no so it cannot enter so you have to do some type of a jugaad jugaad nahi karoge to wo andar jayega nahi for recombinant dna to be integrated into a vector or host genome it is necessary for the dna to be inserted into the cell therefore making the host cell competent is necessary in biotech experiments the two way by which cells can be made competent to take up dna are chemical action हीट शॉक मेथड एक्सप्लेन करना केमिकल एक्शन में आपको बताना पड़ेगा डाइवेलेंट केटायंस लाइक कैल्शियम इंक्रीजेस द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ डीएनए अपटेक बाय मेकिंग पोर्स इन द सेल वॉल ये सब कीवर्ड्स आप लोग नोट करके ले लो नेक्स्ट हीट शॉक में इनक्यूबेटिंग द सेल्स विद रिकॉम्बिनेंट डीएनए ऑन आइस फॉलोड बाय ब्रीफ ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ हीट एट 42 डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड देन पुटिंग देम बैक ऑन आइस ओके सो हियर देयर इज नो डायग्राम्स पीसीआर डायग्राम इज इंपॉर्टेंट PBR 322 that plasmids diagram is important uh gel electrophoresis diagram is important three diagrams are very important from this topic otherwise there are no much diagrams that are there bioreactor diagrams are important when you come to the other biotech topics theek hai bioreactor is a very important thing this is a pyq study the diagram given below and answer the following question come on very important likh ke likhte jao fatta fat likhte jao study the following diagram and answer the questions given below why have dna fragments in bank d moved further away in comparison to those in bank c d me why why is this b it's it's not bank it should be band hai na it should be band ha huh. band d itna aage kyu aaya hai band c ke comparison mein fatafat answer de do yes okay perfect come on रेडी स्मॉल साइज स्मॉलर साइज के वजह से द डी इज मूविंग फर्दर अवे सी हैज अ बिगर साइज आइडेंटिफाई द एनोड एंड इन द डायग्राम इज द ए एंड एनोड और बी एंड इज एनोड विच एंड इज एनोड विच एंड इज एनोड जल्दी बताओ विच एंड इज एनोड ए और बी perfect okay some of you people are asking me questions from chapters that are not involved in today's discussion no children so i am not answering them i'm so sorry however i want to answer them for you to so, telegram id hai tumhare paas mera you guys can always text me on telegram okay no problem at all ha a is anode or b is anode b side is anode b side is anode perfect how are these dna fragments visualized how do you see the dna three marks question ha huh, children see so nice simple question ऐसा क्वेश्चन अगर एग्जाम में आ जाए भाई मजा आ जाएगा हाउ आर दिस डीएनए फ्रेगमेंट्स विजुअलाइज्ड बताइए जनाब ये डीएनए फ्रेगमेंट्स को विजुअलाइज कैसे करता है अच्छो आगे गया हाँ हाउ आर डीएनए फ्रेगमेंट्स विजुअलाइज्ड क्या यूज करते हैं क्या यूज करते हैं मैम वो निमोनिक बता दोगे बच्चे वो निमोनिक के लिए मेरे को टेक्स कर दो टेलीग्राम पे मैं वहां पर बता देती हूँ तुमको निमोनिक मैंने लिखा हुआ रखा है मैं वो भेज देती हूँ वहां पर ठीक है निमोनिक अभी फिलहाल नहीं डिस्कस करेंगे वो बड़ा लंबा टाइम जाएगा हमारा क्वेश्चन इंपॉर्टेंट है फिलहाल इथीडियम ब्रोमाइड वेरी गुड इथीडियम ब्रोमाइड ईटीबीआर ओके इट्स योर ब्रो इथीडियम ब्रोमाइड वेरी गुड ओके ये सब आंसर है आपके इथीडियम ब्रोमाइड बी इज द एनोड और ऐसे आंसर्स लिखोगे बच्चों यू विल गेट फुल मार्क्स इन दी एग्जामिनेशन ओके अब वो पीबीआर थ्री ट्वेंटी टू पे आ जाते हैं यू गाइज वॉन्टेड टू लर्न पीबीआर थ्री ट्वेंटी टू आई डू दिस एज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे चिल्ड्रेन बिकॉज दिस इज ऑल द रेपिटेशन वाले क्वेश्चन पीसीआर का ब्रीफ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई टोल्ड यू दैट 
PBR is very important. I've told you that gel electrophoresis short note is very important. I've told you that and uh, certain common nomenclature wale questions is very important. All these have come in the previous years a lot of times. So, yes, it's important. Hai. Draw a schematic diagram of E. coli cloning vector PBR322. Mark the following in it. ORI, ROP. Ampicillin resistance gene, tetracycline resistance gene, restriction site BAM H1, restriction site Eco R1. Draw usi question ka formats dekho. Draw a schematic diagram of segment of vector and a foreign DNA with the sequence of nucleotides recognized by Eco R1. Complicate kar diya question ko. Draw the vector DNA segment arid foreign DNA segment after the action of Eco R1 and label the sticky ends which are produced. Three questions from one topic. Ha, I mean. Every year, a different variant of the question was coming. Same answer, but variants of the question. Variations of the same answer. Matlab, wahi answer aayega, but variation dekho kitna hai. Thik hai? Answer, kuch bhi ho jai, aapka answer ye aayega, bachcho. Thik hai? First, you will make the PBR wala diagram. Only for the last question where they asked you, sticky ends to produced hai, wo batao. For that, only that, you have to draw this particular sticky end wala diagram. So, let us do that PBR wala. Thik hai? Let's go at this. Let's go at this. Let's do this one. Okay? Ye raha bachcho aap loka. Dekh rahe ho yaha pe? Perfect hai. Aap banao ke bachcho ORI site compulsory. Thik hai? ROP compulsory. That is, ORI is origin of replication. Compulsory. And ROP is compulsory. Then, make tetracycline and ampicillin resistance compulsory. So, four things are taken out of the picture. So, you have to get tension of the Now, break it down, my dear children. I will not suggest you people study the mnemonic. Now, don't study the mnemonic. What is the mnemonic? Ke liye abhi, abhi kya hai? Tomorrow, the exam is there. Today, you will sit and study the mnemonic. Everything will be very volatile. Let us not make things volatile for ourselves. Let us keep everything very simple. What you have to do is, I will just tell you. In tetracycline, just remember BS. BS. Tetracycline mein BS yaad rakho. BAM H1 or SAL1. ROP mein, ROP, ROP mein, the proteins required for replication mein, PVU2. PVU2. BS aya, PVU2 aya. AMP mein, ampicillin wale gene mein, PPE. PPE. Order correctly yaad rakhna, PPE. ऐसे जा रहे हो तो ऐसे याद रखो ऐसे जा रहे हो तो ऐसे याद रखो पीपी पीएसटी वन पीवीयू वन इको आर वन ओके और यहाँ पे जो इको आर वन क्लावन और हाइंड थ्री है इसको आप चाहिए तो सीएच करके याद रखो सीएच यू कैन मेक अ निमोनिक विच आई विल नॉट रेकमेंड यू डू नाउ बिकॉज टुमारो देर इज एन एग्जाम टू डे यू सेट एंड स्टडी द निमोनिक विल नॉट एब्सोल्यूटली मेक एनी सेंस एट ऑल ठीक है तो देखो कितना आसानी से हो जाना चाहिए टेट्रासाइक्लिन के एरिया में आप बीएस याद रखोगे आरओपी रोप में आप पीवीयू टू याद रखोगे एम्पिसिलिन रेजिस्टेंस में आपको याद रखना है पीपीई दैट इज पीएसटी वन पीवीयू वन एंड उसके बाहर आएगा इको आर वन इको आर वन इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस बट पीपीई रिमेम्बरिंग इज इजी इको आर वन सी एच क्लावन और हाइंड थ्री वेरी सिंपल ऑल दिस इज माई डियर चिल्ड्रेन वन ग्लैंस यू टेक एट द पिक्चर नो यू विल बी इजीली डन डू नॉट स्टडी अ निमोनिक लास्ट मिनट पे एवरीबडी इज वेरी क्लियर अबाउट वॉट वी हैव डन माई डियर चिल्ड्रेन ठीक है परफेक्ट है ओके अब आर ओ पी का फंक्शन आर ओ पी का फंक्शन है इट प्रोड्यूस द प्रोटीन्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर रेप्लीकेशन प्रोटीन्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर रेप्लीकेशन ऑफ दैट प्लाज्मेट इज क्रिएटेड बाय द आर ओ पी साइड क्लियर एवरीबडी Sticky ends kaise bante hai? Wo diagram bhi bahut important hai. Such questions can come in the exam. I hope today's lecture has helped you all a lot. Has today's lecture helped you guys a lot? If you guys have loved the lecture, make sure that you tell so in the comment section also. And make sure that you like the video before leaving the video, my dear children. At 12 o'clock today, we have another lecture of biotechnology applications. So, meet me for biotechnology applications. That is not on YouTube. That is on your dashboard of Vedantu. So, Vedantu dashboard mein ja ke, open that and applications wala lecture 12 o'clock ko ho ga aaj. Please come and attend that. Make sure that you like the video if you guys have loved the lecture and you have benefited from the lecture. Okay? I hope you guys are going to have an incredible exam tomorrow. Make sure that you guys prepare very well. Your you are always you know that i'm always accessible on telegram and everything you guys can always check with me people on telegram i'll see you guys at 12 o'clock today okay on vedantu's dashboard all right see you guys take care everyone
बेस्ट ऑफ लक फॉर टूमोरोज एग्जामिनेशन फाड़ देना पेपर को अच्छे से है ना डन बाय गाइज टेक केयर हैव अ लवली 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 प्रेपरेशन डे बाय टेक केयर यस थैंक यू बाय बाय टेक केयर गाइज सी बाय